Hey everyone, welcome to 2 Minutes Tuesday with Bala. This week we are going to look into Azure Container Apps. Let's get started. What is Azure Container Apps? Azure Container Apps are uh, nothing but a serverless for your containers. So if you would like to run a container, don't want to deal with the AKS or running an entire Kubernetes cluster, then you would opt in for uh, Azure Container Apps. Also, the main important thing is everything runs on Linux. So most probably if you have a .NET Core application or anything that is based on a Linux image, then probably you could use the container apps. Windows container apps are not supported at the moment. Um, and also the main important thing we use this container apps is for microservices. So if you want to run up a quick microservices or anything like event-driven application, so this is nothing but built on top of AKS, rather you managing the AKS, everything is internally managed, and then you just worry about your container application development and it is much more cost effective and it's uh, also a consumption based model rather compared to AKS. By default, you will be running the server resources. Uh, and uh, this comes with the integrated built in DevOps uh, pipeline. So you could directly build your application, um, do the changes, and then you can get that deployed automatically. You don't have to deal with all the deployments. The main terminology that we are discussing here are three main things. Container apps is nothing but an application uh, which is running based on your container image. And then container apps environment is more like a secure boundary between two different applications or you want to have a separate seg segmentation then you would be having like certain containers running in one piece uh, and all the network and everything is secured for that the last one is dapper um, nothing but distributed application runtime that's a separate thing altogether we'll discuss through that um, but that's built in part of your um, container apps so this is a simple architecture here. You can see there is an overall container apps environment running. Within that, there are like two different container apps. Within that, you have different revisions and replica that you can scale automatically. Why should I really use this? And it's more cost efficient because you are paying only based on the consumption. So if you have a smaller application, lightweight, um, then it's much easier to use this rather than running an entire cluster and managing it. Automatic scaling when there is a need, it can scale automatically, more like your Azure Function Apps kind of thing. Simple to use and deploy. Um, so basically, if you have uh, containers from different registry, either it's public or private, monitoring and logging is baked in, so it's easier to monitor and log any errors that you face. Thanks everyone for watching. See you next week with another topic. Thank you.